My name is Prophet Emmanuel Lamed, the Senior Pastor of Divine Fountain Prophetic Gospel Center, Kano State, Nigeria. I hope this message meets you well. Wherever you are, I have a message for the South African charlatan called Pro X. So wherever you are, I want you to come online now. I want you to begin to share this video until it get to that jobless and useless agent of darkness called Pro X that is duty assigned to him by the pit of hell is to see that he criticizes the church of God, to criticize men of God, to talk about men of God on social media, all in the name of looking for pop cheap popularity. So good news to uh, Pro, Israel, Pro X. So wherever you are right now, I want you to be sharing this video. I want you to come live on air. I want to release a word, a message, I want to give a message to Pro, uh, Pro X. Uh, my name is Prophet Emmanuel, as you all know, the senior pastor of Divine Fountain Prophetic Gospel Center. So I believe the reason why that charlatan in South Africa called Pro X is busy looking for cheap popularity on social media, castigating, criticizing men of God and the Church of God, is because it's jobless. Because if uh, Pro, is, uh, Pro X is not jobless, I don't see need, I don't see use, I don't see the importance of him always busy on the social media, always coming online, and all his topic at every point in time is about men of God, most especially uh, Prophetess Natasha, Prophet Shepard Bushari, uh, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, uh, Pastor Ige Adeboe, uh, uh, Bishop Oye Adebo. He talks about uh, Prophet Angel, Makandiwa, uh, Vito uh, Bosikowati, and the rest of them. These are fathers of faith. These are men that have been tested and proven. These are men that the anointing of God is upon them. These are men you never employ them. You can't sack them, Pro X. Pro X, remember, all these generals you are talking about, you talked about uh, my late mentor, uh, 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 late Prophet TV Joshua, who is resting in the bosom of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, Pro X, I have this word for you. You are too jobless. Go get yourself a job. By so doing, your life will become better. You, then your life will become transformed. You can't be busy on social media talking about men of God whom God have anointed, men of God who in prosperity, they have gone ahead of you, men of God who in wisdom, they have gone ahead of you. I don't see need why uh, Prophet, uh, Prophetess uh, Natasha, Prophet Makandiwa, Prophet uh, Al Fukau, Prophet uh, Shepherd Bushari, Bishop Oedepo should come out, Apostle Johnson and the rest of them should come out and challenge you. You are too small for them to come out to challenge you. I am here to reply you. You, that charlatan in South Africa, calling your name or whatever you call your name, Pro X, if you don't desist from accusing, faking news, Taking video, uh, audio record about Bushari and a woman, you went and packaged Bushari's voice, packaged a voice of a woman like it is a woman and Bushari that were conversating. I saw that recording, I saw that video where you arranged with a woman to accuse, to set up Shepard Bushari. If you don't desist from this wicked act, you pro Israel, I am betting you with God. Your life, your life will end. Your life will end in the pit. So nobody is threatening you. I am not threatening you. I'm just telling you as God's anointed. That if you don't desist from talking about this man of God, the wrath of God will come upon you and your generation. Your, the wrath of God will come upon you and your unborn children. The wrath of God will come upon you and you will live to regret it in life. Pro-Israel, I am warning you for the last time. Stop making video with men of God. You have done a video with me now and... Um, it's nothing. I just know you just want to use me to get cheap popularity for yourself. So if you think you have anything against any, any of these men of God and you are sure your evidence are genuine, meet them personally one-on-one. -on -one. Stop going out on social media, spreading false rumors, spreading things that are not true, spreading things that are not fat about men of God. Of what gain, of what benefit, what does it benefit you? You use uh, the, the pro, uh, pro X. Listen to me, Pro X. You are the most useless and cost charlatan from the pit of hell. You are the most useless and cost charlatan from the pit of hell. God has cost you. Do, uh, pro X, I repeat. Pro X, wherever you are, that charlatan in South Africa, God has cost you. Your life will remain cost. Your destiny will remain cost. Your future will be cost. Everything about your generation, your unborn children, become cost. Until you repent, get yourself a job, and stop this jobless act of attitude you are prostrating on social media then you will face the wrath of God. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't need the approval of that satanic and useless charlatan called Pro X to prove whether these men of God are genuine or they are not genuine. As long as we are consigned, 
they are genuine and they are called by god psalm 105 verse 15 said touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm so ladies and gentlemen if you have a business with what these men of god are doing that you feel you don't like meet them one-on-one -on -one, meet them personally advise them pray for them in fact you have no right to advise any man of god you have no right to call any man of god to order all you need to do the only obligation the bible has given to you and god has given to you to do for this man of god is to pray for them is to pray for them for them to encounter christ i want to tell uh uh uh, uh, uh pro israel in a clear tense i want to tell pro israel in a clear tense if you think rascality is only in the world even in the church we have rascality we have holy ghost rascality Pro Israel, I want to warn you for the last time. If you care listing, I want to warn you for the last time. You cannot hide. You cannot run. Wherever you are, I will get you. If you ever mention a deep boy, if you ever mention Shepard Bushari, if you ever mention Natasha, if you ever mention Apostle Johnson Suleiman, if you ever mention Emmanuel Makandiwa again in your videos, if you ever mention TV show again in your videos, if you ever mention Victor Boasi, if you ever mention Alfukao in your videos again, wherever you are, I will look for you and I will cut off your neck. I will kill you. I repeat, just as Jesus said, as many that will not want me to rule over them, he said, bring them here either, slaughter them before me. Pro-Israel, if you don't desist from speaking against our fathers in faith, if you don't desist from talking about our men and women of God, Joe Israel, I will use you as an example, I will use you as a scapegoat for others to learn in Africa. What is wrong with us in Africa? We don't appreciate what God has given to us. We don't celebrate the grace that God has given to us. All we care to do is to destroy our fathers of faith, slaughter them, naked them before the world. What is wrong with you, pro, pro X? Look at the life of that useless charlatan called J. Israel. How has his life ended now? Look at J. Israel, running at a scatter, even when no one pursued him. No wonder the Bible said, he said they run. Our enemies run. The enemies run even when no one chased them. So J. Israel is running. So who are you now, pro X? Where did you come from? Where is your background? Tell us about your background. Tell us your foundation. When you ask men of God money, they refuse to give you money. You seek for help, they refuse to assist you. Now you come on social media looking for cheap popularity to talk about men of God. Jesus said, as many of my enemies that will not want me to rule over them. He said, bring them here. Slaughter them. Kill them before me. Kill them before me. Who said the house of David will not reign? Who said they will not become? He said, bring them here. Kill them before me. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think rascality is only found among bandits, if you think rascality is only found among Boko Haram, if you think rascality is only found in clubs, if you think rascality is only found in the marketplace, in your house, in your environment, yeah, you are mistaking it. You are getting it wrong. We are also rascal in God in the church. So pro, pro X. If you don't desist from talking about our fathers in faith, most especially late Prophet T.B. Joshua, most especially Apostle Johnson Suleiman, most especially Bishop David Oyedeko, most especially Emmanuel uh, uh, Makandiwa, Al Fukao, Prophet Ch Shepard Bushari, Albert Angel, uh, Prophetess Natasha. If you don't desist from talking about these men of God, Joe Israel, Joe is uh, uh, Pro X, wherever you are hiding in South Africa, I will look for you, I will cut off your neck. I promise you that I will cut up your head. So rascality is no less in the cup. Even in the church, we should stand to defend what we believe. We should stand to defend our fathers in faith. You can't be talking about churches. Ladies and gentlemen, there have been no time in my life where I stand to criticize men of God or to criticize my background, my foundation, where I was coming from, the Catholic Church. I was once a Catholic seminarian. I was in a major seminary before. So I cannot say because I am no longer in the system of the Catholic Church, I will now come out and be criticizing the Catholic Church. That is, would be stupid of me. That would be idiotic of me. I cannot speak about the Catholic Church. I cannot speak about any church. Reason is because these are church built by God. These are people working for God. So anytime you insult a priest, you insult a pastor, you insult a clergyman, directly you are insulting the Holy Spirit. You are insulting God. You are attacking God. So Joe, uh, pro, is, uh, pro X, I have no word for you because you are useless, jobless, satanic charlatans assigned by the pit of hell, assigned from the pit of hell to cause division, to cause confusion among the children of God, to see how you can scatter the heads of men of God and the church. How can you be talking about a man, for example, a uh, 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 Bishop David Oedekbo, by all standard, you cannot even dare his tallest slippers. How can you be talking about a man like Al Fokau? How can you be talking about a man like Apostle Joseph Suleiman? How can you be talking about uh, 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 the, the, the Archbishop of Abuja Diocese? How can you be talking about Prophetess Natasha? How can you be talking about uh, 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 Prophet Jeremiah Omofofin? How can you be talking about 
uh, Joshua Gil, how can you be talking about Paul and Nietzsche? How can you be talking about all these men of God for God for crying out loud? These are men that have made impact to their world. They have made impact to their society. They have made impact to their generation. You now pro X, what impact have you made in South Africa? What impact have you made in the life of those that are following you on social media? What impact have you made in the life of people following you on Facebook, commenting rubbish, commenting what they don't know blindly? So, so I want to tell you, everyone, every viewers all over the world, that pro Israel and J israel are just looking for cheap popularity on social media on facebook avoid them so that they will not drag you to their destruction so that they will not join you to their to the wrath of god that is coming upon them so the wrath of god is coming upon pro israel for sure and i tell you pro israel you cannot run if you ever speak against fathers of faith if you ever speak against the catholic church again i hear you i will kill you I will cut off your neck, pro-Israel. I will cut off your neck. How dare you talk about Bishop David Oedipo? How dare you talk about Apostle Johnson Suleiman? How dare you talk about uh, uh, Prophet Robert Angel? How dare you talk about Shepherd Bushari? How dare you talk about Prophetess Natasha? How dare you talk about uh, Prophet Jeremiah Omofofi? How dare you talk about uh, Prophet Ijesho Aigila? How dare you talk about Bishop Oyedebo? Uh, How dare you talk about Adeboi? How dare you talk about uh, uh, Prophet uh, Victor Buhasi? You are too small. You are too small. Ladies and gentlemen, the judgment of God's servants is not your judgment. You cannot judge any pastor. You cannot judge any clergy. So you, are, you didn't employ him. You never invited him for interview. He never submitted CV for you before he was called into the ministry. So you have no right to judge any man of God. So you have no right to judge any man of God. Whoever God has ordained, whoever God has anointed, whoever God has called, you have no right to condemn. You have no right to criticize them. You have no right to judge them. You cannot judge a man of God. Judging man of God, the business of men of God is not your business. How men of God live their life is not your business. It is left unto him that called them. Their boss is God. The MD, the CEO of every man of God is Jesus Christ. So allow Jesus to judge them. You have no right to judge them. You have no right to curse them. So pro Israel, I rent that curse upon you now. If you don't repent, the wrath of God will struck you. If you don't repent, you will die by accident. I decree and I declare pro Israel. Uh, pro, pro X, if you don't repent, you will die in the name of Jesus Christ. Pro X, if you don't repent and speak speaking and, and stop speaking heal against men of God and fathers of faith, I decree you will die. Your future will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So all of you followers of Pro Israel online, commenting nonsense on his page, be careful so that he will not drag you to his destruction. Be careful so that you will not drag you to, to the wrath of God. So I'm calling on every follower of pro-Israel. I'm calling on every follower of the Israel. Be careful. Be careful how you judge men of God. Uh, Golden uh, Jewel said, shut up. The church of Christ will not live under your captivity. God has risen him to expose you guys. Uh, uh, Golden, I think you are one of the useless and accused and cursed charlatans. I think God has cursed you already. Because if God has not cursed you, you will not be here backing pro X. That God has already cursed from the pit of hell. That the devil has sent you to come and cause division and confusion in the church of Christ. So, Golden, uh, uh, you are cursed. Uh, let me repeat, you are cursed. Uh, your life will be cut short. For even sending this message, for even commenting such way, uh, 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 Golden Jewels, your life is short. Your life will be cut short. Your destiny is going nowhere. You have no future. You have no future. You have no future. You see, if you are a man of God, why are you cursing? Was Elijah not a man of God? But he called bells from the bush and he devoured the children that cursed him and called him and said, Oh, man of God, the man of God of Bahe. What does that signify? I told you last time during the course of the teaching in my church, I said, What these children were trying to tell the world about Elijah was that Elijah was a fake man of God. So Elijah says, Since I'm a fake man of God, let me call bears. And bear came and consumed them, devoured them. So golden. I am cursing because God has given me power to curse and God has given me power to bless. And today I cursed you in the name of Jesus Christ. I cursed you in the name of Jesus Christ. Golden, I cursed you. I cursed you. Your life will be empty. Your life will be useless. The works of your hand be cursed. Let the works of your hand be cursed. Golden, let the work of your hand be cursed. Let the work of your hand be cursed. Just the way God is renting curse now upon pro X, may the same curse come upon you. You will share of his curse. You will share of his rot in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will share of his curse. You will share of his rod in the mighty name of Jesus. To every disaster, to every rod, to every divination that God will send upon Pro X, the same come upon you, Golden, in the name of Jesus Christ. So please, all of you commenting, 
supporting pro x for 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 attacking men of god for calling men of god charlatans for calling fathers of faith charlatan is because you are not rooted in god's word it's because your foundation is never jesus christ your foundation was never his word so wherever you are right now pass this message to pro x